Well, that's it. It's my season's greetings to uh, to good old 2017. I'm currently at my uncle's house. If you look right, actually, I'll just take you outside. This is uh, my uncle's farm. Hello there, kitty. Hey, kitty. This is the farm cat. Ow, get your nose out the gate. And this is how I spend my days at the farm. Anyways, 2016 is coming to an end. Now as for the men's hairstyling in 2016, whoa, really not that important actually compared to everything else, but <laughs> that's what I do. So here's a video about that. To end out this year, I'm gonna be bringing you something that you've always been wanting, and that is <sighs> bringing you a comparison list of some great products and some not so great products and some products there in the middle. Almost all of the products that I'm gonna be showing you can be found in drugstore stores. No um, Bloomon products will be included. Although, as everyone I'm sure agrees, they're the best products of all time. Best product 2000 and forever. I don't know how many people that I'm gonna, uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna offend uh, with this one. But the American Crew brand, uh, it's not, I'm not a big fan. Some of their stuff is decent, don't get me wrong, um, but there's never been a product that I've really wanted to go back to in their collection. And these two specifically, are my least favorite. Starting out with this guy right here, American Crew Molding Clay. This is this is not a clay in my opinion. This clay right here has got to be one of the greasiest products that I've ever used in the history of ever. It's shinier than most pomades out there on the market. And it's, I, when I say shiny, I mean like greasy. It just leaves a, a greasy textured mess. It's no good. Scooping it out, the first thing you'll notice is it de it doesn't feel like a clay. If anything, the closest thing that this feels to a paste, like a like a really greasy paste. Actually, the closest resemblance, in my opinion, is got to be chicken fat. The only thing that I kind of like is uh, the smell. It's kind of citrusy. It's a little bit woodsy. It's kind of musky. It's 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 all right. The smell is okay. Everything else, American Crew. More like American poo. <clears throat> Next up in the second product in the American Crew line. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but this is the American Crew Palmade. The biggest problem for me um, is the hold factor or lack thereof, because there's not a lot of hold. When it comes to a pomade, I can sacrifice hold if the product is gonna give me good conditioning or give me some health benefits in the formula itself. But this product, it doesn't have a lot of hold and it's also chock full of pretty chemically ingredients. So it's kind of a lose-lose in my opinion. There's a lot better options out there on the market. The Bloomon Pomade, that stuff is on the website right now, so you can check it out. So that's one good alternative. I'm just saying, it's not in the list, but it's still a good solid, it's good solid, you can joke, 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 you can uh, blah, blah, blah. go go check it out. And the final product in today's list of not so great products is this guy right here. This guy right here comes in this packaging. This is the got to be line of styling product. Now, I didn't want to buy the whole line, so I only bought this purple one, which is the texture cream pomade. And from my experience, the got to be line of styling products uh, came short compared to the other drugstore products that were available. It smells like sunscreen mixed with a cake. That's a combination I've been wanting my entire life. Moving on, we've got two products that are gonna be in the middle category. I cannot tell you how many, this is the very first product that I've ever used, and I must have used it for about five years in a row, about six years ago. This is a product by Garnier. It's called Power Putty Surfer Hair. They're, ve they're very professional when it comes to their naming scheme. This stuff is actually pretty good, and to prove it, I've used it as today's post styler. Straight away, one of the most surprising things about this product is how light the actual paste feels. It's so like light and fluffy, so it provides a much stronger hold than you would think, considering it feels like melted butter, pretty much. So my suggestion, if you are in need of a budget hair product, I'd say consider picking this up. Or if you're out traveling, you forgot your good stuff at home, you need to have something in the meantime, maybe check this out for the price and for what it does. It is a serious thing to consider. That's what I have to say about that. Now for the second in the middle product, not the greatest, not the worst, it's this guy right here. This might seem kind of a bit of a surprise coming from me. This is a got to be glued. Now, yes, if you've ever seen someone like this, 
90% chance that he's been using this got to be glued stuff. But uh, there's also some other good benefits to this. And actually towards the very start of my channel, I've used um, styling glues as a pre-styler. Just the tiniest amount that you could imagine. It's not gonna be crispy and it's not gonna look uh, wet or shiny. It'll give you a completely matte finish and it'll provide a good foundation for a finishing product. That's why it's in the middle because it's a small purpose, but it is a significant purpose and it provides a good result. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the best of the best, the big guys, the products that we want and need. This is Big Sexy Hair's Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. So the thing about this kind of gel compared to a lot of other actual gels is that this is a much lighter consistency. It's like a, um, a solid water, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but you can see it spreads around extremely easily. So you can use more than like your typical gel. Now, if you like that light, fluffy volume that a mousse gives you, I highly recommend checking this stuff out. Whenever I use a mousse, I'm always left with feeling like my hair's been dried out and it feels very straw-like. I like the light volume and I like the fact that it feels like nothing's in my hair, but I don't like the dry feeling. This provides all those benefits. It provides a light finish, fluffy feeling. <laughs> but my hair doesn't feel dry and it doesn't feel straw-like when I'm finished. Next up, this is as simple as it can possibly get. I've shown you this, this is a simple heat protectant spray. It's extremely cheap. If you're not using a heat protectant and you're using heat, get some heat protectant. Next up is this, Paul Mitchell's Super Skinny Serum. I wish I had the normal bottle because the normal bottle is not pink, but I was given this at an event a few months ago. Put simply, it smooths out your hair and it makes it more manageable to work with. So this is also a pre-styling product. You put this in before you blow dry your hair. It's a good serum to have if you're wanting to get some more control into your overall hairstyle. It won't do anything on its own, but team this up with another product of your choice. It's very good. And finally, I can't talk about this enough. Dry shampoo. I feel like guys don't understand this enough. You need to stop washing your hair as often as you're washing your hair. You wash your hair every day, you need to tone that down a little bit. This will solve that. Specifically, this brand. Batiste make my all-time favorite dry shampoos. I just feel the effect of this and it's so powerful. You do not need a lot of this stuff. For those of you who don't know how dry shampoo works, it's a spray. Do that, although on your head, and then that's it. I want to say a big old thank you for watching this video. A very merry 2017. Hope that this year is sprouts some new flowers in your heart and makes you successful in whatever it is that you're doing. Thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing everybody next time.